na taarifa zaidi lakini kabla ya hapo tutakuwa tunaenda kwake waziri wa usalama Fred Matiangi ambaye leo amepokea uh, ile ripoti ya kuhusu usura zima la upekuzi wa wanaomiliki bunduki humu nchini na atakuwa ni mwenye kuwa ni mwenye kutujulisha zaidi ya mambo yanavyoendelea to a large extent honestly because of your support because you 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 kept communicating what we were saying and every time we were giving information many of you have done um, you know extended uh, uh, you know uh, uh, work investigative work on this and then that has increased the public's awareness uh, of this and we do not take that for granted it may be an issue of interest but the fact that as uh, media in the country you are also interested in it and you are communicating on it it is very good and positive uh, honestly and, and and i want to thank you very sincerely for for that i have uh, this morning um uh, had a concluding meeting with the fire licensing and control board uh, and received a briefing from them on the exercise that we were instructed to do um to look at the fire licensing regime in the country and vet fire licenses in the country. The records we have in the country show that registered fire holders are 13,805. But the ones that were vetted or who came to uh, before the board to be vetted were 9,398. Uh, what that means is that there are people out there uh, who purportedly have fire licenses uh, and these are people to the tune of 4,407 who did not turn up for vetting. Uh, out of this, uh, as it were, uh, I am asking, um, when we have a discussion with the Inspector General of Police, that we now move uh, forward to uh, mop up and look for these 4,407 people. But of great interest um, to the people of Kenya is that um, out of this, uh, the cleared, out of these uh, cleared and certified firearms, uh, we withdrew 1,493 uh, firearms that were in the hands of wrong people. And out of these 70 of them, are, of them were semi-automatic uh, rifles. Uh, what even shocked me uh, when I received the brief this morning is that in that process, the board was able to withdraw uh, 21,732 rounds of ammunition. In other words, we collected 21,000 bullets uh, that were in the hands of people who ought not to have them. 21,000 bullets that were in the hands of people who ought not to have them. Uh, another significant point to note, we are going to give you this document at the end of this briefing, is that uh, of the 33 registered gun dealers in the country, the board after vetting has revoked uh, 13, 13 licenses. So there would be only 20 registered uh, gun dealers. There was an error in this document. You will notice that it's 10 here, but it's actually 13 uh, licenses that have been revoked of gun dealers. So we expect that only 20 gun dealers in the country will be operating. Even those 20, we are going to revert them and look at them once more as it were. Um, the point is this. Going forward, there are a number of things that I am going to outline as measures, and some will be outlined by the Inspector General before, because there are certain things he's authorized to do under the Act that I am not authorized to do uh, myself. One is that um, I have consequently asked the Fire Licensing and Control Board to halt the issuance of gun dealership licenses in the country with immediate effect. We have 20 uh, dealership licenses. For a country of our size and, uh, you know, surrounded by the challenges we are surrounded around, it is neither responsible uh, nor um, security-wise uh, beneficial to the country to allow every Tom, Dick and Harry to deal in guns. 
I'm also concerned actually and I've told the, the firearm licensing and control board this morning that when you look at the stock of firearms with those uh, now genuine and licensed dealers, the 20 of them who are going to remain in operation, you still get worried. I mean, who are these people who are going to get all these guns? Um, we have sufficient number of police officers in the country. Uh, we have um, other security sector institutions. Uh, why is it that we want to have so many guns, uh, you know, uh, around in the country? So we'll hold the issuance of dealership licenses for the time being until that regime is reviewed again by the National Security Advisory uh, Committee and uh, until the Act is reviewed some more time so that we can uh, address and manage ourselves in a more responsible manner. This has got a direct effect on the way in which we uh, manage our security in the country. Um, I have discussed with the Inspector General of Police and he's going to comment about that because under the Act, as the Inspector General of Police is the one who's uh, authorized to do so, I am concerned about these 4,407 people and we are going to begin looking for them. Uh, I know that as we dig the archives of the firearms licensing and control board, we are going to come up with a list of these people, those we know, those we do not know. We are working with other agencies of government to investigate and dig up the background and get to know who these 4,407 people are. But the IG is going to comment about them and how we are going to deal with them. Lastly, I want to say this. The reason why His Excellency the President ordered this uh, to be done and why the National Security Advisory Committee and other security agencies have been keen to ensure that this exercise is completed in good time is because we want to deal with the various aspects related to um, a crime in the country. I have said this several times before, that there are cases where murders have been committed, crimes have been committed, police officers go to the side, they collect cartridges, but to, to trace the the criminals become very difficult because we didn't have a comprehensive and accurate record. Now we have a, a comprehensive digital record of the licensed fire holder. And and then we are going to develop this even further as we go forward. The intention we have, ladies and gentlemen, is to make sure that we have an orderly and we live in a very uh, organized community. Uh, I'll now turn it over to the Inspector General of Police, uh, who will say uh, the steps he is going to take to deal with the 4,407 people before I make my concluding remark. IG. Yes. Thank you, Waziri. I would like to give guidelines and uh, instructions how to manage the private firearm uh, holders, bringing discipline and uh, strict management uh, of private firearm. From 1st of August this year, all private uh, firearm holders will be expected to, to show the certificate of holder, and I want to display here, wherever they will be going uh, into, into premises, including the supermarkets, the private security supposed to confirm the private holders have this certificate. All the private firearm holders are expected from 1st of August to have this certificate. And this would be the proof that that firearm has been licensed by the firearm Firearm, uh, firearm board. Without this one, that that firearm should be should be reported to the nearest police station, and uh, it will be withdrawn. And uh, communication to firearm board to verify will take place immediately. All other firearm holders who are security officers from various security agencies will be also expected to confirm that they are security officers by the way of showing their certificate of appointment from relevant security agencies. Either, in, either police will show the certificate of appointment, the military, they have their military certificates of appointment and other security agencies. Failure to that will also handle the same firearm 
by reporting immediately to the nearest police station and this firearm is expected to be withdrawn. We also want, I also want to instruct the holders of firearm, uh, private firearm in the manner they will be handling their firearm, it is very important. Any firearm which will be found mis being misused, either the holders displaying their firearm in, a, in, in clubs, bars, those firearms will be also confiscated. We expect the private firearm holders to adhere to all the regulations as pertained by the firearm uh, issuing board that they should, they should not use it as a way of intimidating the other good carriers. Thank you, sir. Thanks, indeed. I think uh, that's all my a concluding remark is uh, to thank uh, Mr. Mukindia and the Firearm Licensing and Control Board. These men and women have worked very hard the last few months to ensure that um, uh, we've come to this point. We intend to strengthen the Firearm Licensing and Control Board, give them the tools and resources they need to function even better. Uh, we need to increase public awareness on management and handling of uh, firearms, uh, working together with uh, other agencies. I also want to thank my colleagues uh, in the security sector for the strong leadership they have provided. IG and his team, the um, entire membership of the National Security Advisory Committee, uh, we are very grateful for what they have done and we will continue to work together so that we uh, fulfill our mandate of keeping our country safe and secure. I know that when I met uh, uh, media before, people have asked me this question. Are you going to live up to your word to ensure that violators, regardless of their social status, are dealt with? So, before you ask me the question, I want to tell you the answer is yes. We are resolute and we have all agreed we will move to the next level to ensure that uh, everyone who uh, violates the law, the law is blind to status, is blind to uh, financial and economic ability, and we will implement the law. Our responsibility is to implement the law, and we are committed, determined to do that. Cases you have seen in the past of um, individuals who are probably highly placed in society, running around displaying, uh, you know, guns, or moving around with people whom we do not know whether or not they are licensed gun holders, carrying guns around and trying to display guns arrogantly, recklessly in public places. I would like to assure you that is going to be a story of the past. The IG has assured me, and we are all going to deploy, we will ensure that is sorted out uh, uh, comprehensively. So, the... My view is this, and this is my very honest opinion. After consulting with the Inspector General of Police, these 4,407 people, if you are holding a fake certificate and you did not want to show up, if you did not show up because you um, forgot or did not see the notice or did not hear about it, or for whatever reason it is that you did not show up, these 4,407 people, uh, report to the nearest police station, and surrender yourself there. At the expiry of the next seven days, we have agreed with IG that any one of those 4,407 people will be treated as armed and dangerous criminals because they are not licensed. And you know what that means from the point of view of the police. When they encounter you, you are an armed and dangerous criminal because you are carrying a firearm without a proper authorization by the security agencies. And with that, uh, I am now ready, Mr. Mukinda, to receive the report formally before these good people. Maya, IG. Jaga de Wuri, I'm going to meet you. Sande Zana. Thank you, Mr. Mukinda. So, this is it. Uh, I hope I'm allowed to open it. Yes, sir. Um, Yes, you. 
I think one member on behalf of the, and we can actually uh, display it on behalf of the, on behalf of the, uh, thank you indeed and God bless you. Thank you. Nam waziri wa usalama Fred Matiangi hapo akiweza kutoa tu ilani kwa watu 1447 ambao hawakujitokeza katika kupigwa msasa walipotoa wito kwa wote wanaomiliki bunduki za kibinafsi kuweza kujitokeza akiwapa siku saba kabla ya wao kutajwa kuwa wahalifu waliojihami na hatari kwa usalama wa taifa hili. Kumbuka kwamba pia vile vile kabisa ameweza kusema kati ya wote waliopigwa msasa watu alfu moja mia nne tisini na tatu walipatikana kutukua na leseni bandia na bunduki zao kuweza kuchukuliwa na vile vile kabisa bunduki ama risasi alfu ishirini na moja mia saba thelathini na mbili ziliweza kuwa zenye kuchukuliwa uh, zikiwa zimemilikiwa pasina kutu zingatia sheria kwa pande wake vile vile kabisa uh, uh, inspector general of police hilary mutiambai ame sema kwamba kutoka agosti uh, mosi wote ambao watakuwa wamemiliki bunduki watahitajika kuwa na cheti cha kuweza kutoa uh, kuonyesha kwamba kweli una wewe ni mmiliki wa bunduki halali na vya vile vile kabisa tumeweza kuona kwamba uh, kati ya maduka ama wafanyabiashara ambao walikuwa nauza bunduki uh, 30 na watatu kumi na watatu umeweza leseni zao zimeweza kufutuliwa mbali na umebaki ishirini peke yake na le, le, utoaji wa leseni zaidi umeweza kupigwa marufuku hadi wakati ambapo taifa hili litakuwa lenye kujadiliana na uh, kamati ya kitaifa ya usalama inaongozwa na rais itakuwa yenye kusema kwamba biashara hiyo itaendelea ita mpenzi mtazamaji kwa sasa tutakuwa tunapunga unyonyo kidogo lakini sema na citizen inarejea baada ya muda usio mrefu